So now we are in post call analysis and this is really, really important because what this setting allow us to do is when the AI is having a conversation with the user, we can pull certain data that we want. So by default, retail is going to give you the summary of the call. Uh, what was the disconnection reason? Was the call successful or not? And all these kind of data, but there might be some specific data that you want to pull. So in this example, we want to find if the user have an intent of buying private lessons, right? So we want to pull that data, right? Inside the prompt, we have added uh, this question right here uh, to ask like if they are interested in private lessons or not. Now here in post call analysis, what we are going to do is click on add, right? And then we are going to select Boolean. We, we are just going to name it interest private. So this means uh, this user have an interest in opting in for private lessons. So we selected Boolean because we want a yes or no answer. So what is the function of this particular post call analysis is we are trying to see whether the user is interested in private coaching lessons or not. If during the call, the AI detects that the user is interested in private coaching lessons, the AI will send back true as a response. If the AI detects that there is no buying intent, the AI will send false as in response, right? So that's what the function of this post call analysis is. The other thing that you are going to add is username. So since this is an inbound phone call, we are assuming that we don't know their name. We don't have their phone number, right? Or we might have their email or we might not have their email. So that's why we have to take all those information and send it back to our CRM that we will connect uh, via inbound web hook, right? So the way you will add this is click on add, select text. And here you will write user underscore name. So here, write John, write Henry, for example, write name, right? And click on save. As you can see, I have done right here. Go back to your automations. I have built the rest of the automations, but don't worry, I'm going to explain you each and every step in detail. So once you make your test phone call, you will come back here in the automation and click on mapping reference, right? And you are going to select the top one, right? Whatever is at the top, select that because for post call, you are going to get three mapping references, but the only mapping reference that we need is the one that have event as called analyzed, right? So here you can just click on save trigger. Once you save trigger, you're going to have to add if else condition. So when you add if else, something like this will open up. So here, what we are trying to do is just allow the event with call analyzed as the value to pass through. So I'll show you how exactly you will do it. So you will click on add branch, then select inbound webhook, then event is you'll just copy this right here and paste it. So I'm going to delete this one because I have already added it, right? Always click on save action or else uh, it won't get saved. Now the next thing that we are going to add is we are going to create a contact because remember, we don't have their information. They are calling us, right? But since they have called us, now we have their information. So what we want to do is we want to take that information and create a contact so that we can save it and maybe we can reach out later on, right? So click on add field, find phone. So I have already added phone. Uh, I will show you this part right here, how to uh, map that field, map the phone field. So you will click the, on this tag icon, inbound webhook, call, and you will scroll down and click on from number. Don't click on to number, from number because we are getting an inbound phone call. Now the second field we are going to add is going to be first name, right? Here again, you will click on this tag icon, inbound webhook, data, call analysis, custom analysis data. You remember how we added the username? You will click on that. So save the trigger right here, save it. So after creating contact, what we are going to do is we are going to update the contact. Remember how we added in post call analysis, the buying intent, whether the getting private coaching or not. So that's what we are going to update. So yeah, before this, let's go back to our go high level account and click on settings. And after clicking on settings, click on custom fields right here and add a field, right? Click single line next and it should be inside of context, right? And uh, the field name should be, um, it will depend on you, but here I'm using buying intent. So just write here, buying intent, buying intent like this and save it. I've already created it, right? So something like this. 
And here, what will happen is after the call has been conducted, if the user was interested in uh, getting private lessons, then here inside buying intent, the value will be true. If not, the value will be false. So this is how we are using it. Come back to your automation and update field. Here you will select field and you will write buying intent. And for buying intent, you will again click on this uh, tag icon in bound webhook call and here we'll select interest private so basically we are trying to see if they have an interest in opting in for private coaching or not 